so I've nearly finished uh, doing all my text on one side of my book um, I'm just finishing the last little uh, few letters so we're nearly nearly there so this is the end for this side so you can see all the text in there so so now I am going to attack the other side of my book and I think this page some things it's nice to leave some spaces you don't have to fill up everything um, likewise on this page so if you'd had an empty space here you could choose one of your prints that you've made and then glue it down um, I'm I've got some um, pages here that I might use sections of them to add into my book so I'm using my pinking and pinking shears which are my favorite all-time favorite types of scissors and I'm just going to make a cut a circle that I think I'll a bit of a wonky one that I might glue down here and then also because this is um, so it's good to use up parts of um, so you can see these pages are a bit sort of um, you know not the greatest so I'm just having so I'm just going to rip that off in that way with the using the ruler so I get that nice deckled kind of edge and I'm going to slot this into here so I might I just make sure it's even with the page as much as I can so, so it's a good way of just almost like collaging parts of pages that aren't you know maybe weren't so good but so and I'm also going to crease crease this before I glue it down just so that it will bend with the book um, cleanly so so you can use the end of a knife clean like like an, a kitchen knife but this is specifically made it's called a bone folder whoops so that's a good way to make also when you're turning making your pages to give it a nice clean lines 